Okay, so we're about to attach the yoke. So we have our back panel here with the darts that we've just done and the yoke sews onto the back panel. You have two you have two yoke pieces, but we're going to sew them on one at a time. I just find it's easier to do it this way. Um, if you're clever, you can actually sew it, you know, so that that's underneath as well. But I find sometimes you, you know, the, they don't line up and you, it, you know, it's, it's not even. So I usually do one and then I, then I attach the other one when the first one's in place. So, and also remember that when you're stitching, that you're stitching, you don't line up the corners because that's going to throw it off there. You actually line it up at the one centimetre mark. Mm -hmm. So there is going to be a tiny little step there. Okay, so I'll just get that into position first of all and do a back tack. And now the, the needle's in there holding that. I can line up the notches. So you should have the back notch on the body and the back notch on the yoke that you can line up. So we'll work towards that there. So keeping the raw edges together. Nice one centimeter seam. And then we'll just line up this here. So again with a little little step there. Yep, lining up at the one centimeter. At the one centimeter stitch line. And then back tack. Okay, so that's the the outside one attached. Now we're going to attach the inside yoke. So obviously we have to flip this over and then put this here. And actually it's probably a good idea, I was going to sew it from this side, but if you sew it from this side you can actually see, you can see the, um, the row of stitching that you're going to stitch on top of and it'll help control that so you stitch fabric on underneath. Top of it or to yep, so just another row of stitching on top of that. And again, match up the uh, notches at the centre back there. Making sure that this is all the raw edges are nice and even. Cool. So now we've got the, the the back seam going in between these two layers here. You um you could give it a press at this stage, but I find that it's easier just to give it a press after you've actually sewn the pieces up. So I'd leave it at this stage, and we'll just uh, attach the fronts to the yoke now, which I have here behind you. So you can see here. So this is the front. This is the outside. So the, the left side yoke is going to go on this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this back and we're just going to stitch these two together, okay? So you're just stitching the, the front, left front to the outer yoke. So again, one centimeter. If this isn't matching up like this, you can just give just give the seam a tiny little little pull just to even even them up. Now I just find it's easier, even though like we'd still have to stitch the other seam, but I generally find what I do is stitch both fronts on. And this is a good checking point too, just to make sure that you do have the right one on the right side. So the, our front um, tab here uh, is on the outside facing up. This is the outside facing up. And so we'll just swing this because we want seam lines to go here. So again, start at the neck, matching the neck up. And again, I just have to give this, just because of the grain lines, I just have to give this a little bit of a pull. Cool. So now uh, we have our seam here. So we've got the, these are, this is our back. So we've got the back seam going in between the two yoke um, layers. Now we actually want to sew it so that this seam is inside as well, okay? 
Now what we have to do to, to do this is actually, it's a bit tricky, but we need to, we obviously need this piece on this side. So what you do is you pull this around so that it's on the other side. So the shirt's hanging down in the middle there. And you can see all of that, that, that shirt piece is in between these two layers. Okay, now please, when you're doing this, it's, it is a bit fiddly. And it's one of those things that if you get it in position and then take your fingers off it, it'll fall out and you'll be stuck again. So if you're getting, if you, you're a bit confused about this, please ask somebody, ask me or, or Libby, and, um, and we'll help you get it in the right position. And then we'll just stitch over that seam again. And you can see that when I pull this out, it's almost like, a bit like turning out a pillowcase. And you can see now the seams are inside there. So I'll just lay that out for you to see. So we've got the, uh, got the back, the yoke, the left front here, and all of the seams are mm. uh, inside there. Right. Okay, now I'll just do that to the other side. Just maybe slowly show us how you sure. do that final thing. Yep. Okay, so again, this is a bit tricky because we've got the bulk of all of this on this side as well. But we really want, so you see this here, so what we want, and if you sort of, you can set it up like this as well, so you know that you want this seam allowance to go inside like this. Now to get, to be able to sew that, obviously you can't sew it tucked in like that. So if you pull it back on itself, and again, line it up with this bit here, so you'll see like it folds back so you can see the other yoke seam here. Mm -hmm. And then from that point there, whether you want to put a pin in there while you get the rest of this organized. Mm, that's a good idea. So you could pin that together. And then really all you, all you need to have is, is that seam so that you can actually sew it. And you can see the thread there. Mm -hmm. um, and then you flip it. Just make sure that you don't have any little bits of this inside sort of folded out that you sew it, you know, that you sew some sort of little fold into the into the seam. So it's a little bit fiddly. Catch up at the corner there. So I've got my, my raw edges matched. So I've sewn that seam, I haven't caught anything mm -hmm. underneath. And, now and I you just, just sew on top of the other yeah, stitch Yeah, so line. sew on top of the original stitch line, exactly. And pull that out and you can see now, I've got all my seam allowances inside. Yeah. So this is the outside of the, the shirt and the inside of the shirt looks exactly the same. With the darts. With the darts and you can see the darts on the inside, but this is all nicely finished here. Fantastic. Okay. So now we're just going to, to finish this off, we're going to do just a bit of top stitching. Um, can do several things here. I've done it so that you do a pin stitch, which is right on the edge. You can do a foot width, which is further over. And you can also do a stitch along here. So you can see, see where that, um, you can actually see the, the inside edge of the seam there. You can put a stitch along there, which gives a really nice definite edge. Um, but for this one, I think we're just going to do a, a welt stitch or a, the width, of the, the width of the foot. So I'm just lining it up with this edge here on the outside edge there. And pull it nice and taut so you don't get any pleats on the inside. Okay, and there's our box stitch there. And then the same going down the other side, so pull it nice and taut. So this way, um, you can see and there's a bit more of a shadow there, so it's easier to see. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting the, uh, the outside edge of the foot up against the, the, the seam here. Oops. The back tack. And then on the other side. It's a good time to practice your top stitching, making it nice and all the way along. 
And the last thing I'm going to do, this is all, so the, the yolk is finished now, but what I find to make the, even the next step easier is if you actually sew the, um, sew the necklines together. So you've just got it, just while you've got it nice and flat, it just makes it a little bit easier to sew the collar on. So all I'm doing here is I'm just sewing, you only have a six mil seam allowance around the neck. So I'm sewing just inside the raw edge there. So less than six mil. Yeah. So you can see the raw edge and I'm sewing it. It's probably about three mil from the edge, just to hold those two layers together, which makes it easier when you sew the collar on. Okay, yoke done.